Running definitely is one of my first loves. And for me, running was always about feeling free. There's something about the wind blowing past you, the way your body moves. I've actually kind of likened it to like music, my feet making the rhythm that I'm kind of moving towards. As I've like kind of gone further and further into my career, running became a little bit less about like winning and losing and really more about like embracing this feeling that I have, moving my body and, and just that aspect of freedom that you know you, you can have and I think only through running. So I've always loved running, but I think when I really fell in love with sport was watching the 96 Olympics and seeing Donovan win the 100 meter dash. Kind of like a moment that was like etched into my mind of him just having this emotion that he couldn't even control it like it was like coming out of him and celebrating and and now that i know what it is to work that hard and to finally have something come to fruition that moment of celebration i think was absolutely amazing i believe the ability to celebrate is definitely something that my ancestors my culture and my family gave me it's something that can feed you. Celebration is something that can give you the energy to actually overcome those really hard times. My family is from Grenada. It's a very small island in the Caribbean. The population is 100,000 people. It's called the Isle of Spice, and um, I absolutely love it there. Hi, Felicia. Say hi to the camera. It's a small island, like I said. Everybody's really friendly. Um, and I think one of the things that I really feel like my ancestry really gave to me was the art of celebration, knowing how to celebrate even when times don't even feel that great. So in sport, I think it wasn't always easy to celebrate. And I think in, in reflection, I think I, I wish I had done a better job of finding those small moments and small victories to celebrate, um, even when I feel, felt like I didn't um, earn it or I didn't deserve it. I think sometimes I could be very strict with myself when it came to, to sport. And, and I guess maybe if anything I was to say to younger athletes, that would be one thing I would encourage them to do is, you know, I know we put a lot of emphasis on winning, um, and that's a really beautiful part of sport, but I think there's also a lot that comes in the journey. And as I've actually um, gotten later into my career, I've become so much more process oriented and understanding that there's so many other really beautiful things in it. We celebrate the, the big moments, going to the Olympics, like, like that's super cool. But I also think it's super cool to also celebrate like, man, me and my friend had this really dope practice or, you know, me and my friend, had this really cool experience together. And I think even celebrating my friend's wins, I think was also like really exciting for me as well. So I think there's always something that you can find to celebrate. My Caribbean culture, I think has shown me that and, and that there's so much to life more than just the things that we think are wins. And so I think making a really conscious effort to find those small things in our lives that can be victories, even if they don't look like victories. Competition was definitely the space where I found freedom. That's when I always found when I competed the best, when I could give myself the freedom and the space to not worry about trying to win, not worry about losing. Literally, like it was a dance without any choreography. I was letting myself go out there and just do whatever I wanted to do and to express myself. And I think Caribbean culture, especially when we talk about carnival, there's a, this aspect of freedom. Going out there, there's no script, there's no choreography. It's just you expressing who you are from your very core. So I absolutely love um, the costumes that we wear. And usually, you know, we call it masqueraders. It's like you're putting on a mask and getting to like transcend life and become something totally different. Um, and the colors, the joy that I feel like it brings. And then, you know, you get to go touch the road and then just dance. And to me, I love dancing. I think Caravana and Carnival, it, plays a really big role in finding that playful spirit and the joy in life. And so I think once you put yourself in that place of play and, and joy and celebration, it becomes easier to start to look for those small things um, in life.